Good morning. It's Lisa with Soul Shine and it's morning tea with me. And I'm fresh from my little prayer walk. It's nice and crisp out. So I've got my so focused mug with lots of peppermint tea and some Greek honey from Maya's trip. It's delicious. So this morning I wanted to share a dream that I had last night. It was about law enforcement. And there was a, a man portraying himself as law enforcement. He was talking to a friend of mine. And I was like, that's not law enforcement. You don't need to listen to him. But then he slowly like convinced me that he was law enforcement. He started following me around and I felt really protected. And I was like, wow, this is really nice. But in the morning, I always pray like, if it's not of you, burn it off. I don't want to be deceived or distracted by anything. And if it is you, let me have some insight on that. Like, what are you trying to tell me? And this is what, what I learned. There will be a great deception and... Uh, many will fall away is what the scripture says. So I'm really keyed up to not be in that group. I've been digging into the word. I really want to know the truth. I really want to know him. And I think that's the best. I know. I'm not going to say I think. I know it's the best way to to stay undeceived is by knowing the truth. That's how you, that's how you um, identify a fake bill is by looking at the real one so, so much. So my dream was less about me wanting protection and more about me being deceived. And so this morning I was like, oof, I see how easy it is. Just have somebody say, I'm here, I'm protecting you. Don't mind that I don't have the right badge or I don't even have a full head of hair. He had a wig, red flag. Nothing about wigs in real life, but in dreams they represent other things. So I just wanted to encourage you to get into your word. I know I say this all the time. I'm getting to be a skip record, but I'll say it until I, I can't say it anymore or until everybody gets in their word. Um, get in your word and know him. And like, don't just read it to say you've read it and check a box. Like really talk to him about it. Like, what do you want me to know about this chapter? How does this apply to my life? How can I see my friends and my family and myself and you differently in it so that I'm not deceived? And let all of my longings be filled in you so that I'm not seeking out somewhere else. Like, you're the one that protects me. You're the one that provides for me. You're the one that has rescued and redeemed me and justified me in all the things, all the churchy words, all the longing boxes are filled in him. So I just want to encourage you to do the same. Whenever I learn something, I share it with you, and then you can learn something too. It's like a win-win. So I'm going to sit and drink my delicious tea and just know I'm sending lots and lots of love. I hope to see you at the shop this weekend and hear and tell me some of the things you're learning too in my morning teas. I love that. Have a great day. Sending lots of love.